Hey guys, it's Emma here and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to do a makeup look on products that I've received in the post and um, that I ordered myself and yeah, so I'm going to do a makeup look using those. Um, I'm going to run through what I ordered and um, yeah, just talk about it. Um, I do hope everyone is staying safe out there. Um, Ireland, Dublin, everywhere is back in lockdown again. Um, yeah, so I just hoping that everyone is staying safe and looking after themselves. Definitely know that it's been a hard year. Um, not alone for myself, but everyone out there. So yeah, just keep looking after yourselves, and um, hopefully the next year is gonna be so much better. And um, yeah, so um, what I tend to do is do one eye on the screen and then I'd go off and do the other eye and then I would finish the look with you. Um, yeah, so let's get started. So some of the products that I already have on my face are um, the Max Factor Primer, um, which is like a creamy based one. Um, also, I've been using the Bondi Sands the lip balm. Um, as you can see, I've just been going through this a lot. Um, if you don't know, they're also like a fake tan uh, brand, Australian brand. Um, quite coconut y. Um, obviously, just wish you were somewhere sunny. Um, but no, I've been using this all the time. Um, there's Factor 50 in a plus, so that's a good uh, lip care there for the moment. Um, yeah, so the products I ordered and they came to me. The products that I've ordered are actually American based, so um, they're definitely not available in Ireland. So I had to wait a few weeks for them to um, be delivered. And um, mine was um, Juvia's Place. Um, I hope I'm saying that right. But um, so this is their loose highlighter which is the royalty 2 and um, so this is kind of like a brownie gold and um, so when I do the look hopefully this will be a nice highlighter and um, so this is their white sands I'm magic setting powder so I haven't used this one yet and um, so hopefully again when I do the look it's going to be a nice textured powder um, and then I picked up the, I hope I'm saying this is right, um, the Saharan, Saharan. So as you can see, the packaging is all very colourful. Um, even the palette itself is very colourful. Um, so as you can see, the colours are quite vibrant. Um, I have used this colour, the Satuko. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, it's like a ready, a ready orange, and then I use this one. It's like a green, um, shimmery eyeshadow color. Um, Kaya. So that's that one there. Um, yeah. So what else did I pick out? Okay. Yeah. So um, I picked up a brand that I've actually never heard of. Um, they're called EX One. Again, I hope I'm saying that right. And um, so what I picked up was their uh, liquid uh, wear foundation, Invisiwear. And um, so this is a, a skin-like pigment, um, even so complex for perfect coverage that is almost invisible. And um, it's oil and fragrance free. I know there is a lot of other. There's no paraffins. It's all like quite uh, good to the skin um, yeah, and yeah cruelty free, fragrance free, stuff like that. So um, I got the liquid uh, foundation and then I got their uh, the Leash uh, Fluid, the Leash Fluid Concealer. So this is actually a quite um, light liquid foundation and this is actually like a thick concealer. So I have been using this and um, it's quite close to my skin tone and um, so it's just 
very light on the skin. So, um, yeah, I, if you're looking for full coverage, you're definitely not going to get off this one. Um, and then I picked up their blusher. So this is um, Love Story. So that's that there. You can see that it's a quite... It's actually like a plum. I know you can't tell, but yeah, it's definitely a plum um, blusher. But um, I've been using that as well. Um, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use the foundation and the concealer with the Juvia's Place products because I, I think I'm going to work with this colour here which is Rude, Rude I am so sorry I really hope I'm saying these right so I kind of like this colour here the Jamila so it's like a nat range so I'll kind of work work with those colours and um, as I said, my eyes are all primed and prepped and ready to go. Um, I'm going to use the Eco Tool uh, Duo Ended one, the more the fluffy brush one here. Um, so I'm going to start with that orangey colour. So I'll just get it. There's not much fallout from these, but um, the pigmentations of them are quite strong. So let's see how they fare out. I'll just get my little mirror. So you can see there the colour has gone on straight away. So I'm just going to blend that out and get it into the crease. So, as you can see, that is a nice orangey. So, I'll try and mix one or two of the other ones. So, there's like, as I said, the Suk... 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 I really hope I'm saying that right. So, I'll just push that one over. And just keep blending. So even if you want to mix the two together, there's actually a bit of fallout like putting the Jamila over the crease and down. Down into the corner. And then what I'll do is I'll add the bottom kind of neutral uh, brown tone. Um, so just kind of here in, in the center. And um, I just have an eco tool uh, eyeshadow brush. So yeah, just grab a bit there. Because as I said, I'm just going to add that green shimmery colour over. So this is just, as you can see, that went on really easy. So just even if you want to bring down the other colour into it. Just to give a nice clean finish. So that's that bit there, one. And so I'm just gonna add that green with my finger. So this one here. So I'm just gonna take a feel nice and easy. Not much fallout down on the bottom half of the face there from the eyeshadow so that's good and just 
get your brush and just clean up with nice clean precision. So as you can see, nice greeny orange eyeshadow look. So that's the one I done. So what I'll do is I'll just go off and do the other eye and then come back and do the rest of the makeup. Yeah, so I'm back and my two eyes are done. And I just want to say I added my eye uh, perfection primer on this eye. Um, so you can kind of see the little bit of uh, more intensity in this one than this one. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to show you the difference of if you added a primer. Um, so what I'm going to do now is add my Daisy Ducks. Um, these are the Flutter False Eyelashes. I was able to grab these in Primark um, before they went back into lockdown. Um, I've actually been using these um, on a couple of my um, makeup looks. The Tick Band there on top of the eyelashes. So I... I had to kind of like move it to kind of get a little bit more flexible to um, go onto my eyelashes. So what I'm going to do now is just pop them on and then finish the rest of the eye look. Um, so with the glue setting on my eyelashes, um, I'm going to just use a quick coat of the Super Plan. Um, this is the Smashbox uh, Band Out Mascara. I've actually been using this a lot lately. Um, as it, again, it's like a comb. It'll easily go into your eyelashes. So I just put a coat on quick to help with the eyelashes. So. I'm going to skip the bottom. A quick go. So I've just added the eyelashes. Um, I also find, guys, if you cut them to the length of your own eyelashes, um, kind of gives you that more kind of like a natural uh, look so just obviously move them around and just get them into your shape or shangam to use and um, so I'm just gonna uh, put a few little drops in the center there and um, so as I said this is a liquid foundation so this will go on quite light and easy to Right around. So, a couple of drops there. So, I'm just gonna easily spread it around. So, this is actually quite light. So, seems to be coming up really bright. Let me so you can see it's more like a natural kind of foundation. It actually went on really well and really like spreadable. Um but yeah, as I said, it's be more daytime. So that's the foundation there put on. As I said, this is no chemicals. 
paraffin free, cruelty free. So that's all good. Yeah. So I'm just gonna put on some concealer. So this, as I said, is more of a, a thick coverage concealer. So again, there's a little pump on the top. Um, I'm just gonna grab my concealer, Sueva concealer brush. So I'm gonna pop on a few. And then just gonna do the under eye. That is, as you can see, a quite, quite thick. And dab that all out. Bring it down. It's a lot different to the foundation. And so I'm just going to blend that out. And let's see how we. So, as I said, it is a lot thicker. And with a liquid foundation, we'll just see how it wears out. Obviously, just clean up around your eyeshadow to a nice clean edge. Mm -hmm. So oh, it's actually made me really light on journey. So we'll just and you can see there. Now, if you can see that I'm even wearing foundation. So, I'll just finish the look now. So, I'm going to use the loose powder from the Juvia's. And then, yeah, finish up the look. So, I'm just going to shake some up to the top there and I'm just gonna add it with a powdered puff and so I'll just dab it underneath I'll just get a bit more and work under your cheekbone a bit of my sun shimmer just on the top of the forehead so I have my eco tool brush so just to give myself a nice little on top forehead and then I'll just get a bit here on the cheek underneath the cheekbone Just bring it up a little bit. The side. Bring it up a little bit. Down underneath the chin.
down along the nose. That part is all done. Um, so I'm going to finish now with the lips. My makeup looks recently, so it's the Catrice um, Long Lasting Lip Pencil, which is uh, Tom and Berry. So it's like a nice plummy uh, lip liner. And then I've been using a Flamour um, On Rose uh, Revolution uh, lipstick perfect lipstick so it's more of a, a pinky and um, lipstick so but when the two go together it turns into a nice purple lippy uh, combo so I'm just gonna add that now So you can see it is a nice purple leaf lawn. So just bring it around to the outline. And then this uh, bottom line. And then if you just want to do so in between your lines so i think this is a great look for the kind of months that we're going into bottom so get your lipstick and this when it's through so you can see it's a nice kind of like a uh, plum makeup combo. So I'm just going to do my cheeks now. And then the highlighting part. So I'm going to use this DX one. The love one. Love story. So I'm just going to get my real techniques. This is a dark, so it can go on quite heavy. So as you can see, just tap lightly. So if you want to get your foundation brush um, that you used, this will help just um, blend it out a little bit more to tone down the colour. So as you can see, um, the side is quite heavy so I'll just fix that up now and just tone it down so you can see there now that it's not as harsh as it was and um, so I'll just Get another bit of blender to contour. I'm just gonna add the highlighting part now and the highlighter onto my face. Um, and then I am finished with the makeup look. So I've added a bit of the color underneath the eyes um, just to give that kind of finished eye look. Um, so again, just shake a bit of the highlighter up into the top um, and then I'm just going to add this to the nose. So this is like a bronzy gold and then just a bit on top of the cheekbone. So as you can see there, just maybe to spread this up. A little bit in the middle. And 
and let's do the other cheek. Yeah, so it's like a bronzy gold. As you can see straight away, you get the shine. It is sitting on top. So I'm just going to add a bit now to the chin. And then just on small bit on top of the lip to give yourself a shape. Don't go too crazy. You don't want to be giving yourself a sweaty lip moment and then just on top of the underneath the arch. To finish your look. Tap it in. So as you can see there now, So that's my makeup makeup look finish uh, for now, guys. Um, I will say, I think the foundation is very light. Um, the concealer was quite thick. Um, as I'm kind of looking at it, I can still see, like the powder is still. You can see that I'm quite white underneath and you can see like the blending is still quite there and not there you can see that it's kind of like I just feel like it's just sitting there you can see all here the powder is just, just kind of like just sitting on top and um, I do like the eyeshadow palette quite vibrant love the colors as you can see, it's um, quite standout-ish. Um, as I said, I do love the lip colour that I put together. Um, but yeah, no, it's a good look. This foundation is very light. Um, again, as I said, this is a hard time to kind of figure out what foundation to get because no one can um actually try testers so basically you just get a foundation and hope for the best um but overall i do like the shine that i'm getting from the highlighter i think if i used a little bit of a dark foundation um it wouldn't be as um you would see it would blend a little bit more in with the foundation um but yeah I am happy with the outcome and I hope you like the look and um, and the products that I've used so if you like the channel and my channel and um, give it a thumbs up or go like and yeah hope you have a nice day